I was literally talking about um, uh, like te- technological thing, the new frontiers of technology. A thing that's been annoying me this week is all of the content I'm seeing created by just like jokes done with uh, AI based apps. Like, have you seen the latest oh, one God. where like you can you can interview like the goat, <laughs> the AI generated ghosts of historical figures? This and, is like, okay. Know, that's actually the only one I do find funny. That you know, is like the, I saw some pretty funny like. ones with yeah. that one. Like, well, yeah, it's like, because they decided that, that because they don't want to have a bunch of you know Nazis saying Nazi stuff, they have to have all of these like high level Nazis like Himmler and Goebbels. Like, I realized that what I did was wrong. <laughs> yeah, they have like Reinhard Heydrich on there talking about the crimes he did, like he was a TA that dated a freshman. <laughs> they're like it's like oh you killed eighty thousand jews in like two hours i realized that the that though the historical context uh i was living in there was a lot of pain caused to germany that my that the actions of the holocaust were not right and that humans have a duty to understand each other regardless of ethnicity or religion <laughs> i i mean like, i can't okay. really picture these guys saying that but i do appreciate i i i, I like how it looks on paper well, I mean, like, well, a like this is not artificial intelligence. All of this is being directed by human preferences and choices. If if not like you know underpaid like Kenyans who are like you know scrubbing it for like you know uh, to make sure it doesn't you know say racial slurs or threaten anyone with uh, assault or rape or something like that. But like, what is the utility of having these like historical monsters like in the ether of the internet in this like digital afterlife uh, atone for their crimes or say they're sorry for them? I mean, Matt, you pointed out the Osama bin Laden one. He was still justifying nine eleven, and he was like, "Yeah, we had to do it. Don't, don't feel bad about it for a second. But fucking Joseph Goebbels was like, "Yeah, I'm sorry to twins everywhere." I, look, I'm <laughs> learning and I'm growing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I do. I do like that bin Laden is like anti woke. <laughs> He's like, no, I'm not fucking apologizing. <laughs> he said, sick of cancel culture. Well, yeah, no, that is the first AI thing that has. Um, there have been some pretty funny AI image generators. Um, people helped me create this thing that I had wanted for the longest time, which was Drake in the Holocaust episode of Band of Brothers. That was pretty good. <laughs> that was a pretty good use of who did, AI. Wait, wait, who, did, who did you cast him as? Was he like, you know, uh, uh, Spears? Himself. Or was he, was he, oh, he was just, <laughs> just he was just like. No, he's just, he, he's just, not, everything else is the same. It's all the same original cast, but Drake is just in there as himself in EC Company. And I just had this invasive thought for like two weeks of Drake in the episode, Why We Fight, like when they get to the concentration camp and he sees it. And the, the he, his response is like, we need to get these men to the six stat. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's just organizing flights of Holocaust victims to Toronto to get, get this guy to, to get, a Raptors game stat. Yeah. We need, to, we need him at Jack Astor's. We need him at the Raptors games. We need him to, we need him to catch a, catch a defined Toronto baddie on Blort and Yong street. Um, but AI did help me make that a reality. And uh, yeah, this is those are the only two things that and uh, Goebbels taking accountability. <laughs> only two <laughs> things that I've enjoyed from I mean, AI. Like, it, uh, I mean, like, look, we, we we've, we've talked about AI a lot and how it's basically like a just like a, a marketing term that uh, tech billionaires can use to sort of frighten people into believing like how powerful the the uh, and how powerful and valuable uh, they, the what they create is. But I mean, like people are speculating, especially now with like these um, sort of like text based prompt AIs where you can like just give it prompts and it'll like spit out like an essay or a story or something like that. People, you know, are are speculating and not incorrectly, in my opinion, like just how quickly this will take over like every aspect of human culture that deals with the written word and like how potentially horrifying that is. I mean. I know we it's an idea of return to over and over again, like the terror of like living in this eternal present where like the past is just it seems like we're going back in the past, but all we are is just like recycling it into this ever receding present moment that like never advances but doesn't actually go anywhere. And like the thing with AI, whether it's these art AIs or text ones, it's like not only are they just like rip just sampling like the stored basis of like actual human imagination and labor that exists on the internet but like as they advance they will begin sampling themselves and other ais yeah so like what what you will be getting is not just like a, a rip off of you know 
a real human thought and, and, and creative endeavor, but you will be getting a ripoff of a ripoff and it will become like, just eat like the sum total of like human knowledge and creativity will just get to become so, if we accept this, it will just become so denuded of meaning and like, or just value to humanity. And it's, it's, it's a disturbing thought, but it, it is always nice to hear. <laughs> it's always nice to hear from uh, Martin Borman that he feels bad and he's doing Cato <laughs> now. I'm not, I, I have to say at this point, I'm like not that frightened of AI overtaking uh, the higher ends of the creative fields. I, I do kind of think that the more it gets used, the worse it's going to get. I think it's it. Yeah. That's- I, 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 I've always been sort of a skeptic of AI because a lot of what I'm seeing now that people are telling me is just incredible. It's a, it's a massive stride. It just, they're, they're, I, I saw this 10 years ago. They were called Markov bots. People would yeah, argue with them on those. Twitter because they're stupid. But I mean, if we're going to go to the worst case scenario that Will is suggesting, which, you know, very well could happen. We've gotten the worst case scenario with a lot of fucking technology. I think the optimistic case there that I can make is that in order to outcompete the AI, if you are a human engaged in creative endeavors, is that um, you you are now faced with the challenge that you have to make something that you know barely anyone ever has has ever done, which is you um, have to invent uh, you have to invent a serial killer or a historical mass murderer who actually doesn't feel bad about the things they've yeah, done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I suppose that's uh, got Osama bin Laden. That's one. But yeah, no, you have to be you have to be creative in a way that uh, perhaps no one else has in since the beginning of <laughs> beginning of language. But uh, I, in either event, I don't. I, I I'm not. I'm not too afraid. I do think that AI could write season twenty five of SVU, though. I do think that. <laughs> Probably as long already as they throw is. in the thing about uh, Olivia insisting that men can get hard while being raped. Yeah, she loves that. She, she won't stop talking about that. I think that mo- for the most part, this this stuff is going to be used to just you know demoralize people and and be a wedge and a propaganda tool more than an actual thing. But one yeah. area I think it will actually get used is customer service. Yes, it already yes. is. And, yeah, and, and bill and collection already is. And, and like yeah. debt, debt like, services. Like and bill you're going to just see like why would I pay? Uh, any live, live person, even in Bangladesh, when I can just set up this chat bot because, oh, you're pissed? Uh, we're the fucking phone company. What are you going to do about it? Uh, uh, Not- we're, we're the cable company. Suck my dick. Yeah, and, yeah like I, I, I think you're. I think you're totally right about that. And like to, to go off what you said, Felix. Like, yeah, like people are speculating now that within like. 24 to 36 months like all of higher education all of education totally will be completely replaced by like these essay writing bots or artificial intelligence apps or whatever and you know like once again you have to sort of like take that with a grain of salt because like the people most heavily promoting this technology are people who hate education and the institution of schooling and universities in american life to begin with and would like nothing better than to like do away with the concept of a humanities education entirely but that being said, like you're Matt, you're absolutely right about like customer service, uh, like uh, uh, like people harassing you over unpaid debts, but also spam and like scam emails. Like, and yeah, we, and we copywriting. About, like, how bad those are now? Like think think how much exponentially worse that's going to get. Uh, yeah, I um, I mean they're already kind of doing it. I'm a um, uh, unfortunately a Spectrum customer due to uh, I'm not describing the type of person I am, a customer who's on the Spectrum. I'm a customer of the <laughs> internet, awful internet company Spectrum because it's the only option where I live. Um, but, um, you know, they're incredibly shitty. We've had three, like, six-hour-long outages in the last week. And every time I've tried to, like, um, go on their website to figure out uh, when the outage will end or what the cause is, I am chatting with, like, a shitty AI bot. And what, still, when I call, you know, I'm talking to people and I can sort of get an idea of what's going on. But, yeah, that will once they figure out how to, like, approximate human voices, they'll change that, too. You'll be well, I mean, that, talking that, that, to an AI. They've pretty much already bot. done that. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Alexa. Uh, a, yeah, a, a Spectrum Alexa is going to be the only person you'll ever be able to get on the phone when your cable goes out. 